What's up, everybody? It's Bad Film Critic again. Today I'm going to be talking about <coughs> Unfriended. Unfriended was a horror film released in 2014 by Leo Gabriazzi. And I um, don't know if I'm saying that name correctly, but um, that's it. He um, is actually a Russian filmmaker, and I and if I'm if I'm correct, this might be his uh, first and only American film. He um, isn't new to uh, America, I guess. He he got his uh, education and everything in America, but um, this I guess this is just his first American film. And I watched it on Netflix last night, and um, I was actually really impressed, so I figured I'd make a video about it. So, this movie is about um, this girl named Blair and uh, all of her friends. And um, they go to high, high school, and they're all high school students. Um, and somebody kills themselves. Like, uh, I, th I think like a mutual friend amongst them, a, a video. That, that was actually the, the opening scene was a video of her just um, committing suicide and it's pretty brutal but she committed suicide over a video that was surfaced of her um, she was drunk at a party she was doing some real nasty embarrassing things um, and the classmates essentially bullied her to death and uh, that's where the whole premise stems from is that um, that right there but this movie is about these uh, friends um, I think it's Blair and Mitch Jess Adam Ken and Val and uh, they kind of uh, all take place in an um, online call, like a group FaceTime or a Skype, I think it was. And um, it's a it's a super nice premise, and it's uh, directed really well because we've seen, you know, found footage and camcorder footage uh, movies in the past. You know, the most notable ones being Blair Witch Project and Paranormal Activity. But I think, at least from my experience, this is the first one that I've seen that's kind of taken completely like a POV of someone's laptop and it's um it's really interesting because it never goes into a first person shot it never goes into a uh, overhead shot of anything else it's 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 it, it's true to what it what it is and it stays on that uh the girl's laptop it's from blair's which she i think she tends to be the main character even though all of these characters are very immersed and uh, include included in in the the movie but uh I really like that. I think it was different. I think it was real. It's kind of spy. And I've seen this. I've actually seen this movie before. I saw it back when it released, but um, I completely forgot about it. I think I was like tired or something. But this movie is perfect. And I said this about hashtag alive the last video. But this movie is even better for a date night or for movie night with your girlfriend or with your buddies. It's perfect. It's an hour and a half of runtime, um, and the the pace is just incredible. It really is. It it's good at building tension when it needs to. It uh, it's good. There there's jump scares in it, and it, it the jump scares work well. The uh, tension is made done well. Um, even like the effects and the sound designs are nice, and it stays true to its um its kind of limited abilities with the laptop. It's um it's real cool because you see her on Facebook and Skype and Twitter and YouTube and gmail and all the like all these websites and they're not like corny like kind of like edited versions of it to avoid copyrights or whatever it's like she's actually on google she's actually on youtube and safari and itunes and all like all of this stuff and it like it it just it's really cool to see because it it, it allows the audience to let it feel more real especially in an age where we're constantly on our, you know, phones and YouTube and social media, and that's another thing. Uh, um, a, a lot of movies, when they um, are kind of in one uh, era, and it's kind of like specifically pertaining to a certain demographic, and especially the youth, there's a um, there's a lot of times overtly um, comedic value there and pop culture references that come off as a sort of just lazy I guess and it doesn't really it the the effect of that is these films don't really stand the test of time you see that with I mean I could you know you could go on all day there's these stupid movies that have jokes about what's going on in, in today's era when they make the movie and it just doesn't stand the test of time I think there's kind of two rules to follow in film you either make it in the past or you can make it in the future because both of those work and they those 
both of those can't stand the test of time. But when you make a movie in present day, you can't be overtly obnoxious with your pop culture references and it has to stay you have to stay true because when i watch those type of movies it, i just cringe and and it's really hard to watch because they're just lazy and uh yeah i just don't think it works but this movie isn't like that this movie is it just feels real and these characters i expected them to be super obnoxious and typical which i guess they kind of are typical but they're they're not obnoxious. They're not terrible characters. I was actually invested in every single one of these characters' dialogues and their performances. It felt real. And maybe I'm a little have a little bias because uh, I am a younger guy, and I just re I rest I relatively recently got out of high school, and I'm still on Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat and and YouTube and these things. So maybe I am sort of biased, but that doesn't take away from the fact that this is a good movie. It's it's a great movie, hour and a half. And it's a fun little movie, but at that same time, there there's still notable aspects to take away, objective things that you could see from this film that that are good. Um, these kids are like going, and I I keep talking and I haven't even said what the movie's about. But anyways, this movie's about uh, supposedly the ghost of the girl that committed suicide coming back to haunt them in the video call. And they can't get it off to save their lives. They can't get it off Skype, and it's, and they they make them do the most sick and twisted shit. And that, this movie like surprised the hell out of me. It like it blew me away honestly, because I was expecting this writing to be pretty lazy, but this this ghost supposedly of the the lady that that was uh, killed, committed suicide, um, is making them do the most sick and twisted shit, like commit suicide and play games and expose all their secrets. And these kids are fucking going through the ringer, man. They are going through it. Like, there was one scene where, and I, well, I really don't want to say it, but this shit is brutal, what they're going through. And these characters, they, they, they're really invested. There was one character that I didn't like. I think his name, I think it was Adam, I think it was. And he kind of overacted a little bit. And, uh, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was definitely still viable. But, uh, like, as soon as this movie start, started, I sat on my the edge of the couch and I just watched it entirely. I really, really like this movie. I think it's, uh, I credit myself as finding this hidden gem uh, because it kind of came in theaters and went out and everybody kind of forgot about it. But this is going to be a movie that people look back on in, in 10, 15, 20 years and say, wow, this movie's pretty good. It's going to be a hidden gem. And I think it, I think it's gonna be a classic, kind of with a cult following. I, I really liked it. But yeah, that, that's gonna wrap, wrap it up. Um, I, kind of want to watch the second one. If there's anyone, if there's any place that I can watch, and I've seen it before, but like just like the last one, I forgot about it. Um, shame on me. <laughs> but if there's anywhere that I can watch it, like Netflix or Hulu or something, I'll probably watch it like real quick. But uh, if it's not, it'll take me a little bit longer to get that because I'll, I'll have to buy it and wait for it to come. Because I collect films and everything. I like them to have them on DVD and Blu-ray or VHS, whatever they come in. So uh, I'll definitely buy it. If uh, it's not on any of those things, I'll, I'll watch it real quick and make a part two of that. I have another video coming out. It'll be my next, hopefully my next video. It's uh, taking a little bit longer to edit and work on, but uh, I'm excited about it. It's going to be a, a longer video and uh, just talking about my love of horror. And I'm excited about that. So uh, that's about it. See you guys.